what were your expectations mm -hmm. when you are still in campus and what was your experience after campus? Yeah. <laughs> Can we laugh first? Yeah. <laughs> now, when we laugh, <laughs> do you remember that photo that you took after graduation? I know. Mama, we made it. <laughs> Mama, we made it. I went and talked to that friend of theirs. I wanted to be a tea girl. In my head, I was saying this casual jobs. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, hi, I'm looking for a job. And he asked me what I did in uni. I tell him. And then he says, oh, so communications. I said, uh-uh. That one is too difficult. You want, I want, I know it's too difficult to get, yeah. but there's always something I can do. Now, in my head, people, yeah. I want to be a tigger yeah. or a cleaner and or just anything. You know? And it does happen. Like, you just, like, you can just take anything because yes. you've hustled and you've, nothing has come. No, I was at that point because um, there's this deal. You remember the deal I had in Rwanda? Yeah. Oh my Yenny. God, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was very ready my passport my everything and i know that i'm traveling in like a few and days. you spent a lot yes. in that deal wow you know what happened guys because during covid kigali went into lockdown for a long 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 time kigali was in lockdown so i couldn't go to rwanda yeah. because i was to be based in kigali yeah so that was it so uh, i asked this person and he says okay i'll get back to you then, yeah. No, no. He said he'll he'd get back to me. Okay. So yeah, this is what you do when you don't have a job and when you're looking for jobs. So yeah, mm -hmm. I went and I was preparing myself to go back to Alfax. Mm -hmm. I took back my recommendation letter mm -hmm. to Alfax mm -hmm. in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. Then I went back to Catch. A few days later, say so Catch not, in full. Not everybody. Oh, sorry, Catches. We have a larger audience. Sorry. Catch, catch is Kakamega. Yeah, in, in the western part of Kenya. Yes, so I went back to Kakamega. Now, um, a few days later, these people who I talked to and who my sister in law talked to, Kumbe, there was an opportunity somewhere that was something I could do that required skills that I possessed. Yeah. See God, Bana. God works in mysterious ways. And then they come and tell me there's something small we'd like you to do. Something very small and I'm like, wow, I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and just like that, but I worked for a, a very good environment, like a very good organization. You know, Ile Design Unayenda, and you don't even believe, eh. You're the one who has landed that job. Hey. Yani mm -hmm. from stories as in Miguna Miklamkia mm -hmm. to somewhere where people appreciate you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And come to think of it, I even thought, you know, I was doubting myself because of what people told me before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. and by the way, it happens. People can feel you with words. Yes. They can discourage you. Yes. Yeah. That's that's and it. and then you start believing all oh, and yeah. this and that. Yeah. yeah, it happens. Yes, it happens. It happened to me. Yeah. I believed that I was not good. Yeah. And so even when I was going to this other new place, I was I doubted myself so much. Yeah. But yeah, I worked good there. Thing. They supported me. I used to ask questions, and they were great. Uh, great. Uh, very helpful. They were very. They, they were very helpful. Mm. They used to help me. Mm. Everybody actually. It was the best place I worked at. Yeah. And then in the end, they even commended my work. Mm. Not just, you see, bosses commending your work, like, okay, they appreciate your work. Mm. Like, wow, you did this well. Did you do this? I love reading your stories, hevo, hevo, hevo. Mm. And I remember, I remember feeling so, okay, mixed feelings, because what are you telling me? Maybe I'm not right for the part, I'm just trying, I'm just doing the bare minimum, you know? But they tell me this is so good, you know? I felt encouraged. Okay. Um, so this, I think, was by far my best place. Yeah. Because of the people around. They encouraged me so much. Mbakani kanza could feel like, okay, um, like, um, I can do something, you yeah. know? Yeah, so that was it. Um, when the contract was ending, when it was almost ending, I got a call. 
there was an interview I'd done earlier that year. Mm. I, I, no, actually, I got a call, yes, from a brother. Hini nini? Yeah, le job will apply, ni kwa internship, ama job, I said, ah, hini kwa job. Ni kama umipata, ama ni nini? No, I got calls after that. Calls in Azindi kuingia, and it's congratulations, congratulations, I said, hizi ni gani? Like, you couldn't believe it. Manze kidogo, I, yeah, I didn't believe it. I looked at my phone. And it was congratulations. I'm um, like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> so I I, um, I checked my portal, my government portal, and I saw appointed, and I couldn't believe my portal. So I waited. Like I don't know. Yeah. I <laughs> so many people called to say they've seen my name somewhere. So yeah, that's that's what happened, and here we are. Yeah. I am so grateful. Mm-hmm. They usually say God's time is the best. Yep. Maybe that was his time. Yeah. Yeah. It got me heavy, like not prepared for when it. When least expected. Yes. Mm-hmm. I did not expect it, yeah. but hey, that's a journey. Yeah. And you Quite forgot there is another <laughs> job we applied uh, under KDF. <laughs> you are shortlisted. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and whoa. what you tell me is that you are running. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay let me just okay the highlight of that story was uh, <laughs> take us through that <laughs> that was the second one the one i encourage you to apply because i had done it before right and we applied together yes. you were shortlisted so even for the first one mm-hmm. i was shortlisted mm-hmm. cadets yeah. my friend mm-hmm. they just took a look at me and told me where you could do gali but yeah, like yeah, I went through those things and whatnot. So I finished, but then mm, trouble. Now this one, yeah. you're the one even you're, you're the one who told me I'd been shortlisted. Yeah, yeah, I saw it in the magazine. yeah. You told me. Mm. Hey, so I was happy. I started preparing myself for the interview. And, uh, this one was for professionals, right? Yeah. And we'd already graduated. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. I want to to be ready, very ready for this one. Yeah. Eating lots of bread to gain some weight. Um, I asked for tips for interviews from um, people who are people yeah. interviewed before. Yes, mm-hmm. and from people who are PDS themselves. Mm-hmm. Ah, so I got this nini at you. You just go. It's, an, it's like any other interview. It's like you going for a journalism interview. What will be asked, nini? My friend, I put on heels and a dress. They didn't advise you. You are not told these things, but oh, okay. you are not told. Mm-hmm. Maybe I was told it's an interview like any other. You'll yeah. go, you'll find a panel, they'll ask you questions. Mm. I went, no panel, no nothing. Just so many people who'd been shortlisted for, for the same. Mm. My friend, 8 uh, a.m. in the Fika, to Kimbia, 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 Kimbia. So you, you can be a, if you had a suitcase and a handbag and screen in it, you can be a Kimbia, Kimbia, and sit down. And you know the way my KDF sits? Style funny, I cannot show you. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know, know. Yeah. You know? So I got there and I was not able to sit the way they want. Because I have a dress, remember? <laughs> uh, thankfully, I was taken by my cousin. He's a KDF major. So he took me there. He had my bags. I had jeans inside and flat shoes. Yeah. So you know those people can be so tough yeah. on you. Yeah. And they asked me, Katie Vizuri, and I didn't know. Pale kwa KDF, you say yes, sir. Mm. And you don't, you don't tradisha maneno. Mm. So I said, ah, so you know what I'm going to do? Yes, I can. And then I, I found a, a friendly face. I asked him to please go and look for my cousin outside. He has my trousers. So he went. He brought back my clothes. I put them on, I chained, and then we started running my friend. My friend, I, I ran. <laughs> hey, I surprised myself. It was and like, you told me you ran because you were just thinking about the problems you, <laughs> you had gone through. Yes, yeah, first of all, yeah. before I started running, I had forgotten my KC, KCSE uh, <laughs> certificate. So, I uh, And then, who is God, Bana? Mm. I don't know. I think a few calls were made. Yeah. And the bado waka sema ah uyu muache kwanza. Mm. So by the time I was running, I was alone. Mm. <laughs> no, we were two yeah. with another girl. Mm. So 
I ask God to give me extraordinary strength because God, you know, I, I need don't this I need this job. Mm -hmm. I am suffering. Yeah. I started running. It was a very big circumference. Yeah. Three rounds. Without mm -hmm. stopping. Mm -hmm. Because you know you are only two. Yeah. And the, f the field is full of officers mm -hmm. who are watching you. Yeah. So should you stop? My mind is telling me, okay, okay, stop to tap. We will make you And how are we make you lenient enough? your certificate should be sent to them immediately so it was on its way mm. yeah. nilikimbia. Nilikimbia na after that mm. I will stop at UK chini u, u recover yeah. no ah. jogging and nini and nini mm. I passed that stage I didn't believe it so I said but God next stage to wewe nayo nayo tunaenda you know they check your teeth they check your Wait. everything uh -huh. Apo kwa wait to just see my friend. Tuko bado kwa miguu and nini. Now there's this um officer who was doing that part and he was like, "Eh, hey, wewe, wewe naona una qualify mbio unatoa vizuri sana. Wow. Exercise unatoa vizuri sana." Hata <laughs> hapa, mambo iko sawa. Miguu pia iko sawa. Lakini wewe, lakini wewe hii ukifika pale mbele kwa wewe tutawezana kweli. <laughs> What's your weight? I lied. I said I'm 46. Mm. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm in a trauma. No, I didn't say 56 because ah. ako ilikuwa too much. Ilikuwa yeah. kudanganya too much. Mm. So I lied. I said, okay, sir. They wanted 51 for, for ladies. Yeah. So we were two. We started the medical process. process. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, God, if you know I'm not going to get this job, don't let this call strip me. Yeah. So they started by telling us to go to the weighing scale. I went to the weighing scale. My friend, wait, yangu ni yakuku, people. Yakuku. So uh, this guy took me back to those bosses. They said, ah, uyu wako underweight. And then they did not believe my weight. Uh, back then I was weighing 40. Yes. She does it because many kumba So I was like 40 kgs yeah. and they wanted 51. So the soldier texts me to his superiors, he says I'm 40. And they didn't believe it. Mm. They said, ah, mm. Rudisha. Mm. So I was Rudishwa Pale kwa weighing scale, 40. Ni kwa hey. sasa, pole, we wenda ukuli ugali, yeah. urudi next time. And that's how my dreams were crushed. After and then a call was made to my cousin. Mm. Sister Apo, Atakufa, Hawezani. So that was it. Now we are at French school. Now we are at embassy. <laughs> there were many. There were so many. Yeah, we can list yeah. very many. Mm -hmm. But this conversation shows um, what you expect. Um, it's never like. Uh, yeah. Okay, some people, they are lucky. Yeah. They are very yeah. lucky. Yeah, we have different. like. Um, Destinies we have different yes, stars. True. Yeah, some people are lucky mm. after campus they get a mm. job immediately. Mm. But there's some mm. that you have to tamak, mm. you have to hustle. But mm. in all that, mm. after listening to Kista's story, mm. you can learn that you can you should not give up. Keep on persisting. Mm. Yeah, keep on persisting. Don't let people discourage you. Mm. It's only God who knows your destiny. Mm. So guys, mm. that's it for today. And thank you so much for joining us in this episode of Light Conversations. I hope you found this video informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.